Hey guys, welcome back to Fallout 76. Today I am back once again with a brand new video that features different locations for some really good grinding and fast leveling. And so, uh, if you guys have been following along with the channel, I've made a lot of guides where we have talked about all kinds of different things. You're welcome to go back and check those out if you're new to the channel. Uh, I've got a lot of guides that I think will be very helpful for you. But today's video is going to focus on uh, really quick leveling and grinding locations, but specifically... Uh, for super mutants. Now, a lot of people have. I made a video like this a while back, and it had a couple of different locations that I'm not going to necessarily cover in today's video, but it's going to have a couple new locations that I think are going to be very valuable for early game. So, like brand new players to the game, the couple a couple areas that are going to be really efficient for you, as well as mid mid tier players, and then also late game players. And there's a lot of locations around the map that have. Uh, really good grinding locations because of like the sheer amount of enemies that are there but super mutants are some of the best experiences you can encounter in game and so well in my opinion and like places like white springs obviously white springs is a very very efficient place tons of ghouls very efficient lots of experience really quickly especially if there's like a nuke zone or like after nuke zone or something like that it's just really efficient but these areas are going to be i'm going to start with early game and then we're going to progress to late game locations and each one is going to have a lot of enemies and some really good chances of finding some good decent stuff as you go along through the game so let's go ahead let's load in the action and let us uh, cover these different locations all right so the first location and i talked about this in a previous video but if you missed that uh this is, might be very valuable information if you're new to the game the first location we're going to talk about is summersville so if you come out of the vault uh, here's the vault and you come down, you know, you're gonna get the overseer camp or whatever Generally what I do to like power level when I first start out in the game is I come down here to Summersville uh, To the overseers camp come down to Sutton and then go across from Sutton down to Summersville So Summersville is right here next to 87a and this is a great location for Leveling early on because it actually has quite a bit of super mutants And if you're sneaking around using a rifle or something like that, it could be really uh, a really Really valuable place and basically um, when you first start on the game you're gonna want to look for well, I should say certain certain enemies are gonna have a lot of different weapons and ammo and the and what you get from super mutants is gonna be very valuable early on because if your weapon breaks or something like that you have you can get another one really easily and if you're sneaking around and stuff doing rifle damage you're gonna have a really good time it's gonna be really easy and then down here in the creek bed there's a couple mire alert that you can kill and so now, obviously, these are lower level, level 5, and so everything is going to be extremely easy for me to kill here. And when you spawn into the area, you're going to start over on this side of the area. And, you know, you can just sneak your way through. You can just sneak your way through here. And basically, you're gonna like encounter a whole lot of them, but you can pick pick a little bit off one at a time, so you don't find yourself like overran by them. And so they're gonna all drop caps, 38. Well, not all of them, but the majority of them will drop 38 frag nades, um, hunting rifles, things like that. And it's gonna be very valuable to to encounter when you first start out. And like I said, there's quite a few of them here, and so you can get uh, some really good experience and stuff as you go along and then there's also a, there's also a mission here that now guys just keep in mind okay that I can one shot everything it's not going to be this easy for you especially if you're starting out uh, but anyway there are jukeboxes here and you like are supposed to bring the music back to Summersville and while you're doing that essentially you're gonna have like tons of super mutants come to those specific locations and so you just make your way throughout throughout the the area do the missions and stuff like that and there's two things that I want to make you aware of when you first uh, so you don't miss it so Two really important things are that there is a crowned boss that's down here. Usually it's sitting kind of down here. And so it'll generally be by this house down here. Uh, he's not here right now, but he's usually right down here. And so just be on the lookout for him. He'll be a higher level. He'll be like double what... Uh, he'll be double level what they are. And so um, whatever, you know, it's five, it'll be like ten... Uh, I think I've seen a 15 as well. And then the other thing to note is this walkway right here. So come up come up this this way right here. 
and then up these back stairs and then over here there's uh, this walkway, this little trapway, and there's a trap right here. So be careful not to trigger this because inside the window right here is the shotgun that you can grab. And so this is a nice shotgun that you can get early on. And I think this was when I when I first when I started out and I first got grabbed this thing. I think it was level th oh this level 15. Uh, I thought it was level. I can't remember. I thought it was a higher level. Le le higher than that like a level 30 or something like that so it's worth grabbing there's a trap there just be aware of that but yeah just make your way through here there's a couple there's a couple rooftops that you can kill them on and stuff there's a bunch of a uh, bunch of them scattered about so it's a really great area to start off with when you uh, first come into the game all right so the next notable spot to uh kind of start off the game if you're a new player is grafton now grafton has a ton of super mutants they're pretty much everywhere and there's an event here called grafton day there's a grafton monster which is probably like really might be the first boss that you encounter in game it's a uh, it's a higher level enemy it's a big thing and it can be difficult to take out if you don't know how to take it out the easiest way to take it out is to go inside a building and it won't be able to really easily kill you because it can't it, it just can't hit you and so um, like I said it's gonna be a higher level one so be on the lookout but there's gonna be super mutants all over the place here um, just look out for them and I think the biggest thing to know about this area is that there's a couple notable places to go to uh, one being the high school because some of the er, some of the crafting materials that you're gonna find that you probably need uh, somewhat is like rubber and things like that and in the high school there's a bunch of balls that you, like basketballs that you can get and so if you come down the main road here like I said there's gonna be super mutants scattered all over the place there's some super mutants on top of the high school so be on the lookout for those but you're just gonna run down the road and uh, you'll you'll encounter some super mutants throughout the, this see this is the one thing that I want to say about like a leveling location you want to ideally find a leveling location that has your enemies very like close together and not too far spread out and Grafton isn't the best for that Grafton has enemies and they're very far spread out it's back here in the corner so here's a bunch of basketballs and then you grab all these because like I said these are gonna be good for materials that you can rip apart and then I think there's some in here too yeah the balls the balls can you get off me you little thing grab all these balls because they're gonna be really valuable valuable to have there's some baseballs and things in here too that you can grab so uh yeah grafton is a really nice spot to come to early on and then i should also say that it's not only just grafton um you know this whole area through here the grafton steel the grafton dam they all have super mutants the grafton dam is a pretty good location to come to for uh because it's cl the enemies are close together and so it could be a good spot to like uh do over and over again and so Maybe Grafton, Grafton, oh, the Grafton Dam and the Grafton Steel is the same way. There's a lot of them pretty close quarters. And so it, uh, just the whole Grafton area is a great location to come to for um, the event and then also Okay, so the uh, next place we're going to talk about is Lewisburg. And the cool thing about Lewisburg is that depending on what's here, you can find things like this nice little, uh, when, Wendigo, Wendigo, <laughs> you guys hate when I say it, Wendigo, uh, there can also be a bunch of Scorch here, there's also like generally a crowned, a crowned enemy, so like I think that was it this time, uh, Scorch, Ghouls, and Super Mutants, and so it's a really decent location to come to if you are looking for a couple different things early on and it's it's they're lower level things and so that's that's the point of starting like the video uh what i'm what i'm starting off with so if there's ghouls here it could be a chance for a wendigo if there's scorched here there's generally like a level 30 scorched crown or something like that and then there can also be super mutants and so it's a very nice location to come to because all the stuff that you get now ideally you want to have like super mutants here because you can get some uh some pretty decent uh weapons and stuff from them and then you can just go back to this to the station and sell those things and so I'm not gonna cover this too much I'm just gonna kind of leave it at that because there's not a whole lot needs to be said it's not the most compact area as I was talking about earlier there um, just a town there's like a market going on and stuff and the boss the crown enemy is usually right in this location around here and so calling all over here and then keep in mind too that these cars can pull up and you don't want to get 
uh, killed accidentally from the cars exploding <laughs> and so keep that in mind uh, but yeah this this area could be a pretty decent area for uh, just starting out so let's go ahead and let's go to the next one and we'll talk about the next location okay so the next place that I'll talk about real quick is Harper's Ferry Harper's Ferry I so I covered a lot of these same locations in another video uh, but I'm I wanted to add a couple more to it and so um, Harper's Ferry can have a bunch of different types of enemies uh, mainly though there's gonna be super mutants almost all the time that I come here there's super mutants and they're scattered about this town now there's a couple of there's a an enclave event that happens here that you can do and uh, there's also like I said a bunch of super mutants and so uh, it's a really nice spot to it's just like Lewisburg you can come here and you can kill all these things and you can take the loot that you get from the super mutants and then you can sell them at the trader and so uh, I like I like talking about different areas that have the ability to like you know quickly uh, gain loot and then go and sell it and so it's an it's a nice area to come to uh, for experience obviously as you can see and then uh, go ahead and sell the things that you get at the trader so there's uh, that's where your spawn is at all over there on the bridge and then you can come over here generally that door is locked and but you can get them to open it if you kind of trigger them but they'll just sometimes run around the uh there's a there's a way in over here behind this train car and then uh down here there's a couple of super mutants over here and then from this location if you if you see where i am right now right here there if you follow this path back over here there's a trading post and that is where in this guy it's very no, this is a very important thing to note this vendor bot is one of the best ones in game because they can carry things like black powder stuff like black powder rifle the dra wow the dragons here this took me three hours to get the first time that I saw it so it's pretty expensive but then like a superheated sledge uh, just really really nice things like that and so he's worth uh, checking out and then also uh, some really nice things like ooh, garage door I'm gonna buy that floor safe that's cool I'll buy that some things like there's a lot of things that I've been looking for here targeting computer uh, let's see rustic tables we'll go ahead and buy that I, I need I've been looking for some nice caps and so uh, unfortunately there's still I'm still missing some things but anyway um, yeah he's very valuable that vendor bot and then just work your way Kind of what I do is generally I just come down the street, work my way around this way. There could, there's a chance for a legendary here as well, so be on the lookout for that. I love super mutants because they drop some really nice stuff, uh, nice ammo, frag nades, caps, weaponry. It's really nice for uh, his head blue all the way over there. Then also there could be a mix of enemies here too. Sometimes there's ghouls and super mutants. And so they're all they're scattered about all over the place. So just uh, be on the lookout for them. They'll jump you, man. They come out of nowhere, and they can jump you. So be aware of that. Generally, is down this street right here. If there is a legendary, so if you come down here, he's usually like right in this area right over here. So here's a some scorched. Like I said, there could be a mix of enemies here: scorched ghouls, super mutants, and uh, generally that's what you find. Harper's Ferry is a great place to come to. It's right over here. Did I even say what the name of this place was? I think I did. <laughs> Harper's Ferry is, is right here. It's on the east side of the map. All right, so we got one more place to talk about. Let's go ahead and let's go there right now. All right, the last and uh, certainly not least place that we're going to be talking about here is West Tech. Now, you guys know I'm obsessed with this location right now. I featured it in a few different videos. It's extremely, an extremely good area. Uh, but I'll tell you why West Tech's really good. First and foremost, tons and tons of super mutants, higher level super mutants, very, very, I mean, I think it's generally easy to do. I, now, I have. Obviously, I have, uh, that's a, a suicider. He's got a mini nuke, so be careful of that guy. Um, but I think it's generally easy place to, to go. I do have explosive weapons, so, you know, that's pretty easy to kind of deal with everything. But uh, some of the reasons why this area is so good is because it's obviously super mutants. They drop good loot. There is a chance of having mu multiple, many legendary enemies here. Two on the outside, a possibility for two on the outside. Um, generally, one of them right here will be a legendary. There can also be a legendary over there. And then not only that, where's that last guy? Is there another one? 
That was a legendary thing. Um, two on the outside, multi-star enemies, and so yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So m many multi-star enemies could be here. Um, generally, I've seen two stars, three stars, most common. Um, but then you know you can also find some one stars or no stars here. But there's lots of loot to be had in this location. And then not only that, there's two out two legendaries outside, and there could be up to four legendaries inside. Somebody said they sell six. I don't believe that. I've ran this a ton of times, and I've only ever seen four as the max. Three regularly. Three regular legendary enemies, no stars, and then a multi-star enemy. Sometimes I've seen two multi-star enemies. There's always a crown here. Uh, this area is amazing for grinding. And so take advantage of this while you can. I hope they never nerf this location because it's like one of the best spots, if not the best spot in game currently. It's so good. Um, then just make your way through. It's a, it's a large facility. There's super mutants all over the place. Um, but they're pretty easy to deal with and uh, there's you can go a couple different you can go a couple different routes in here to make this uh, Very easy for you. I've recently started going over this way as because it seems as though you can control the area a little bit more than going the other way um, I've started to change the method to my madness here. Where are you? My man But yeah uh, the other th good thing about this area is that they drop assault rifles, which are great for selling. They're very valued, uh, ver valuable, so you can get like 10, 20, 30 caps depending on which one you have. And then sometimes you can get even uh, some, obviously you get tons of legendary stuff. Here. Oh no! My axe broke! Tons of legendary stuff here, so that's uh, obviously very valuable. And then, like I said, multi-star legendaries, which are really nice. So yeah, just make your way through this location. Generally, there's going to be, uh, yeah, I was going to say there's generally a, an enemy right there. So that was a legendary, one, no star, so um, it's not going to be anything too great. There's most times a multi-star enemy down here um, throughout this location. Just, you know, just look around. I mean, you're going to find all kinds of stuff here. It's a really nice location to come to. They drop all kinds of good stuff. I'll turn my light on for you. I have a bad habit of not doing that, so I apologize. One there, some down here, one here, one over here. Very easy uh, for me to deal with because I have an explosive, but ton you get tons and tons of experience here. Like it's, it's just a stupid amount of experience. All my stuff is breaking though. I've done so much grinding recently that things are breaking. I almost, I almost killed myself right there. Where that? Where's that hound at? What? Is it invisible? Jeez. And then up here, there is a crowned enemy. Um, generally, it says crowned, and they have uh, stim packs, dog food, missiles, right away. Uh, they're very. Th these things are just great to to kill and take out. And then if you come in this room down here, there's uh, there's like food and stuff in here too that you can get. Um, and then in this room right here, there could be even more legendaries. So just it's just a great great location to come to. Uh, let's see, can I if I find any multi-star legendaries? Uh, I don't think I found one yet. It's all been regular stuff. Super mutant. There's always dogs with that guy. I've done this so many times that, uh, and, and surprisingly I'm not like I'm not overdoing it. You know what I mean? Like generally you think you'd get like so like, sick and tired of doing a, a certain location oh yeah i don't have my axe anymore whoops I kill myself so yeah just check everything make your way through here it's pretty easy to do for me like i said because of uh having this having these explosive weapons but then you make your way back over here. oh yeah i should say um what you need to do is you need to get a key card and so up in the control room that we were just in with that red terminal where the crowned enemy was, uh, he opens a door down here. And down here is a key card that you can grab. It's uh, generally right there. Oh, you can see it right there. Uh, let me turn that off. There it is right there. I already have one. I don't know why there's another one there. I didn't think it spawned again. And then uh, make your way over to this side of the room. And there is a terminal right here that you can open up. And there's going to be even more super mutants in here. And so make sure to open this as well. And I already had that key card, so I could have done that without doing that. Um, just, I'm assuming that the legendary might be in here since I didn't see it in the other spot. 
Because there's almost always a uh, multi-star legendary enemy. There's super minions everywhere. They just like come out of the woodworking. Well, out of the metalworking. Out of the walls. Someone here. There's everywhere. It's, a, it's an amazing location to, to grind them up. And so, just make your way through here, looting everything, and... Oh, what happened? How did I just... Did I just kill myself somehow? Well, anyway, <laughs> I don't know how that happened. <laughs> but maybe we'll call for the video right there. <laughs> hope you guys... Uh, we got some lag, and then I died somehow. I think I shot the railing. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, uh, I'll see you guys <laughs> in the next one. Yeah, what a cruel life. Oh, I found all the uh, legendaries. There's three... Multi stars right here. I just wanted to show you before I quit. Uh, now obviously I didn't show them, but there were a ton right here, and I just got some some decent stuff. So let, before we finish, I think it would be I don't think it would be very kind of me to finish the video without showing you the things that I got because I, I don't want to be that I don't want to be that guy. So we just got uh, let's see executioners. No, that was one I found before. This thing right here. Exterminators the Dragon. 30% Mire Lurks, 50% Limb Damage, your VATS critical uh, meter fills. That's actually, this is actually a really good one. 15% faster. That's not bad at all. Uh, we got this thing. Was that? Yeah, that was the one right there. Uh, let's see. Mutant Slayer, single action. Uh, what else did we get? I think that's... I think that's it. We got some apparel, I think. Maybe not. But that exterminator is not bad. I was really hoping it would be an explosive. But anyway, okay, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. <laughs>